in South Texas, so hungry. Barbecue, barbecue donuts, donuts, pizza, pizza what all else of the do you food need? Group. All right. of the above, yeah. please give it to me. I love it. You are covered for sure. It, it was warm today. Yeah. Um, second warmest on record hit 88 in Corpus Christi. You're going to have another warm day tomorrow before the changes arrive. But uh, right now, 88 out at the airport. Northwest wind at seven miles per hour. Winds a little different at our studio. You see the American flag just kind of wavering around, trying to move in off the water. But winds are pretty calm right now uh, as you get into the south side of town and work closer uh, to the beach locations did have a few clouds today, but overall mainly sunny throughout the region with this drier air working in around the backside of a pretty uh, impressive looking storm system. There's snow north of it and then strong storms moving uh, right through the Mississippi River Valley right now. So uh, that system is pretty much done with us for the time being. The next one we're going to watch is over Nevada tonight. It's this little beginnings of what will become a low pressure feature, but that's it. And that'll eventually again drop this front in for us on Thursday morning tonight. It's going to get cool through about midnight, mid to upper 50s, low 60s. Watch what happens though into sunrise tomorrow. The temperatures they will be warming overnight, mid 60s out the door tomorrow. Cloudy, if not foggy for some uh, to kick off Wednesday. It'll be partly to mostly cloudy throughout the day. Temperatures will top out in the mid to low 80s inland, 70s to upper 60s at the coast. And then Thursday, Pre dawn, our front comes through. There will be some light shower activity possible with it, no more than about a tenth of an inch. And temperatures to start the day on Thursday will be in the mid 60s. Watch how the day progresses upper 50s, low 60s. So, quite the change of pace between the 80s and the low 60s that we're going to see on Thursday afternoon. Another thing about this front is that it's not going to clear up behind it. Up above us, winds will be coming in from the south and west. And what that'll do is keep the cloud coverage coming uh, with temperatures staying in the upper 50s on Friday. Won't be until Sunday that things start to change a little bit. This high parks itself to our east. That brings the south wind back and temperatures climb into the mid 70s here on Sunday. So it's going to be a little cool snap for us. We'll be in the 30s here Friday morning. Then the warming trend into the weekend with 80s back in play as early as next Monday. Tonight, 60 with some areas of fog overnight. Southeast wind pretty light, 5 to 10 miles per hour. Tomorrow, another breezy day after the morning fog gets out of here. It'll be partly to mostly cloudy. High temperatures in the low 80s. 80s southeast wind 10 to 25 miles per hour on the water. It'll be a bit choppy. No small craft advisories at this point, but a south wind 10 to 20 knots and over the next seven days we'll get a cooler weather for Thursday, Friday and Saturday. Highs stay in the upper 50s or mid to low 60s and then uh, when the south winds come back, they generally push those temps up and that'll happen into Sunday and the low 80s early next week. So hope you had a good Valentine's Day date night. Weather looks pretty good. All right. Very nice. Yeah. Good to know. Alan, thank you.